Thank you for listening to the weekly messages of New Providence Primitive Baptist Church. To subscribe to our podcast, hear other messages, or learn more about us, please visit nppbc.com. Take us a little second to get our bearings. We've been busy all morning. You know... I pray this morning that if you're here and you're lost, and I'm serious, that it's time for you to give it over to Him. There's somebody here this morning who's lost and undone without God. And if you die, you're going to hell. For all eternity. Amen. Forever. Yep. And ever. Yep. It will never end. <clears throat> Same for heaven for others. <clears throat> Praise God. Yeah. I'm going to heaven. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Yeah. I've been bought by the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. The precious blood of Jesus. If you have your Bibles today, I'd like to have you to turn to the first John. One verse two, chapter two, sorry, verse one. My little children, these things write unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Mm-hmm. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also. The sins of the world. Be seated. I remember whenever I got to start preaching that everybody said, and said, Roddy, stay at the foot of the crowds. Stay at the foot of the crowds. And I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, what? What are they talking about? I had no clue what they were talking about. What? Hey, praise God, I was driving down the road, and he said, what's at the foot of the cross? It's the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Amen. The blood that dripped off his body, praise God, and onto the ground, that was at the foot of the cross. Yeah, that was right. You should go. Bless him, man. We see uh, in... Exodus, that Moses, God sent Moses to bring the children of Israel out right. of Egypt. <laughs> they had been in bondage for years and years, 400 and some years. Yeah. God sent plagues to get their attention. He sent the blood. Every, all the water turned into blood. They didn't have nothing to drink. Then we got the frogs. All the frogs everywhere. Frogs everywhere. God sent them frogs. Yeah. Then the lights. Then the flies. Then the, all the livestock died. Then we got the plague. I mean, uh, anyway... The locusts and the, uh, yeah, the the hell and darkness. But then God told him, Moses, he said, go down there and tell them that the firstborn in Egypt will die. Mm-hmm. All of them yeah. will die. This is the tenth plague. Praise God. He said for Israel, he said to put 
So that it is. God came through. And all those that didn't have the blood died. <coughs> died. Death is permanent. When you leave this old flesh, it is permanent. You ain't coming back as it was here. You got two places to go, heaven or hell. Amen. One or the other. Praise God, if you come by the blood of the precious Lamb of God, you will be saved. Yeah. If not, you have to spend eternity in hell. Yeah. I want to get somebody's attention today, not me, God, that you're going to die. You're going to die. How many things are going to live forever? <laughs> in heaven, yeah, in heaven. <laughs> but praise God, it's going to end. Some will end past now. Some years from now, I pray, I, I, I wish and I hope that it's soon for me. I hope that it's soon. I'm looking for him to come back at any day. Yeah. If we look at Adam and Eve for a second, in the beginning, that they sinned against God. He told them to not eat of the tree. Of knowledge of good and evil, and if you do, you will die. Yep. And they done it. They eat it. Now we some people want to point fingers and blame me for sin or back, you know, back and forth, but praise God, every one of us that is sitting here today would eat it. Yeah, we yeah. We were all are guilty. We all would have eaten. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they eat it, they realize they were naked. What got them, got them some fig leaves and tried to hide their sin, try to cover it up. Mm-hmm. Sweep it under a rug, you'd say. Mm-hmm. But praise God, when, as the, when God came to walking, His voice came walking. <coughs> They ran and hid. They ran and hid. Shame. They were ashamed. Their sin. They had they were ashamed of their, of their sin. God asked them, he said. Yeah. 
what God does in life is pride. Amen. And you can take it in shame with sin and his pride boasts. His pride raises up. It was I shame. You remember when your parents used to tell you, hey boy, quit that. You were really shaming yourself. You were really shaming yourself. I ain't shaming. I ain't shaming. I ain't shaming. I ain't But that's the way I was. I didn't want to be a shame. But shame brings repentance. Yeah, yeah. Right. Repentance. As we come and get a song. I believe the devil's fighting for everything he's got, trying to keep somebody back there. Mm-hmm. Trying to keep somebody out of sorrow. Right. Is it you? Have you ever been saved? Have you ever been born again? I like that song. Do you know how it feels? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Do you know how it feels? (coughs) I know how it feels. Praise God I know how it feels. When I got saved, it was as if God took the whole world Lifting it off my shoulders. Hey, I I was up all night reading my Bible that was hidden. I I didn't need for it, need for it to find the Word of God. That was the only thing that would satisfy me. The Word of God. And I got it out and I started reading. And the the happier I got, the spirit. Thank God, he's right back to me. 